Radio Symphony can robot from a canvas or a beautiful masterpiece. Hi, I'm Sasha Sagan with Qualcomm, and we are running Stable Diffusion on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 reference phone. Stable Diffusion is an AI-based text-to-image generator that can take pretty much any text and turn it into a picture. What we're showing here is that thanks to the power of Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and its hexagon AI processor, we can create a 512 by 512 image in 20 steps in 15 seconds. Most people are used to doing that through some sort of cloud service with some sort of big server somewhere. This phone is in airplane mode. This is 100% local. So you can imagine what kind of applications you could have in the future with this sort of power locally on your device. So right now, AI is dependent on the cloud. So we can go onto the browser or open an app and then access cloud and it does the work for us off the device. So with this on the device, this opens the door to a lot of future possibilities when it comes to AI for your phone. Exactly. This is much more private than cloud AI, obviously. All of, your, uh, all of your quizzical queries stay completely on the device. All the results stay on the device. And of course, you can conceive of it then being integrated into other device capabilities in the future. Uh, your imagination is the limit. So does that mean that if you believe and you could conceive, you can achieve it on a Snapdragon device? Yeah, well, it looks here that anything that you can conceive of and type into this space, Snapdragon can achieve within 15 seconds. So this is all fantastic when it comes to artwork, but when it comes to creativity in the future, let's say music, video, do you think it could assist with that kind of thing, like video creation maybe? Well, this is what we're showing right now. But if you take this proof of concept demo as just a certain kind of AI, it being the fact that HN2 with Hexagon can do generative AI, as more generative AI models appear in different domains, you can definitely conceive of uh, Snapdragon processors being able to handle those models in different ways. So this is pretty uh, groundbreaking stuff. And as we know, the Snapdragon chips evolve every year pretty significantly. We're on Gen 2 now. By Gen 5, what could something like this look like? I mean, I don't know what the future holds, except that it's going to get better and better.